my understanding, my experience is we acknowledge, we recognize the suffering. You know, even Buddha himself said, to understand the suffering. The talking about suffering is not threatening people. Talking about suffering is not to bring fear to the people. Talking about suffering is to recognize, to acknowledge, and then do something. So then what you do is, just have to look, is this some kind of suffering, is some kind of, you know, like many people believe it, so it is God's punishment. Or it is just suddenly popped up from nowhere. Or oh, what is it? Where does that come from? Is there something can we change? Now you're really leading to a spiritual path. Is there something to be changed? Can we change? So the answer what the Buddha gives us, yes, you can change, not at the result level, suffering is a result, but causal level. That moves you to a second noble truth. Truth of cause of suffering. Causal level. This true, first true suffering and the causal is negative side of for Novo Truth. Negative side of. How did we get into such a mess? What made us to do all this? So when you're looking at the causal level, what causes this? Right? And we do, we are very good, many of us, many of you, not me, many of you are very good because you know this food is going to bother you, so you, you avoid eating. So many of you would like to be vegan. Many of you are great vegetarian. And many of you are gluten free. And you have no difficulty of doing that. You will enjoy doing it. You do. Many of you avoid caffeine. Of course, meat you don't eat anyway. So, so, um, so you can do that. So you're great at it. So the similarly, within your mind, you will also have to see why, where does this suffering come as Glutening makes me blow up my stomach or have loose emotion. I'm sorry about it, but <laughs> and all these and that problem you see, so you avoid eating. Similarly, uh, with the uh, dairy, uh, dairy products and the meat, and uh, you can avoid, you like to avoid, because you don't like the result. So similarly here, you don't like the suffering. So you really wanted to avoid. So when you really wanted to avoid, then avoid where the suffering is coming from. It comes from two, only two. The cause of the suffering is two. The karma and karma also caused by, you know, 
sometimes we, when we talk about the karma, we think it's sometimes we think it is some very big, something kind of some some kind of, of Christian God type comes into Buddhism, change into karma. Sometimes people think that that is not. Is not karma is your own creation. All my karma are my personal creation. Maybe it's not right to say, but I am my own karma creator. If I did not create my karma, others' karma cannot be experienced by me, except like a common karma is a different story. Other than that, so I don't experience other people's karma, I experience my own karma. I made it, I'm responsible. Everything good is my deed, everything bad is my fault. It is really me who created my karma, nobody else. So you can also simply avoid that. The negative karma are not automatic. Now the hour changed, negative karma has to come. Hour changed, positive karma has to come. Doesn't work that way. It works, what do you think? What do you did? It's this bottom line. It boils down to our mind. Our mind. When you talk about the mind, mind is a pure, clean, clear, like a crystal lampshade. Our emotions are like light bulbs, red green, yellow, orange, clear. So these emotions are sometimes people refer to as afflictive emotions, afflictive emotions. But I'm talking about it, anger. I'm talking about a hatred. I'm talking about obsession, ignorance. Above all, jealousy, etc. These are the different light bulbs. And then there's a positive emotions such as faith, morality, I mean perfect morality, good morality. I don't know whether we anybody have a perfect morality or not but a good morality. Uh, all those type, and the emotions are both positive and negatives. So you know, when you're looking at this light bulb, changes the color of a clean, clear crystal lampshade, look like, when you look from distance, looks like red lampshade, green lampshade, cool blue lampshade or yellow lampshade. It is not the lampshade changes color, but the bulb in there changes the color so it reflects the, the lampshade. Likewise, likewise, the emotions here change the mind. So natural of the mind may or may not be changing, but it becomes negative mind, or it becomes a positive mind. So negative mind would like to do something destructive. You want like to do some harm to somebody. Look at the enemy, always anger, 
angry, wanted to do something mean, something painful. This is our hatred and uh, anger influence that and we will act accordingly and that is creating a negative karma. We will do the same thing with the obsession. We will do the same thing with the jealousy. We will do the same thing with the all these thoughts. Other hand, faith. Desert compassion Allah and all of them will make you act differently, right? And this is creation of our karma. It's nothing. When you create that karma, you don't need big industrial manufacturing, I don't know, complex or something. You don't need it. Well, simply you're sitting, talking, thinking or walking, we keep on creating that. So, if you look it back to yourself within the hour or day, back from morning till evening, what sort of thoughts you have entertained? What sort of actions you have taken. Then if you conclude it, how many positive, how many negative, and you will you realize, you recognize yourself clearly. Earlier Kadamba Lamas, they used to to count pebbles. When they're sitting they're mostly meditating, mind you. Mostly meditating and sitting. But the thoughts will pop up. Wherever you are sitting, in meditative posture, in temple, or, or whatever, running, shopping, in the midst of uh, downtown somewhere, or whatever, thoughts go on and changing. Those earlier Kadamba Lamas, while sitting and meditating, used to put pebbles, these little pebbles, white and black. In the positive thought, one white. In the negative thought, another black. But in the evening, you count it. And always negative thoughts are much more than positive thoughts beginning. For us, I'm quite sure, huge amount of negative, very little positive. But if you saw it, whatever positive you have, appreciate that. Whatever negative you see, regret. And try not to repeat it tomorrow. So the whole game is this, simple. Reduce negative karma, build positive whatever you could. By reducing the negative karma, you will not have negative consequences. You have less negative consequences. So when you cut the cost, you won't have a result. So that is how you deal with your suffering. When I say causal level, that is what it is. Bare bones, bottom line, it is your mind. It is your mind. Nothing else. It is your own mind. You have to be alert. You have to be aware 
of what your mind is up to. Reduction of the cause of suffering is the way to cut suffering, as you do with your diet. With your mind, you do the same thing. So it is important to recognize what is negative, what is positive. Most of us luckily knows negatives are more or less. We have that sort of general awareness of negative, the general awareness of a positive. So use your knowledge. And if you, if you wanted to learn more, you still have opportunity.